And by the way, I'm going to make a recommendation on a new show coming out. I got an advanced DVD of two of the new episodes. It's a Steven Seagal cop show. It hasn't started yet or has it? I don't even know the name of it. It's, I swear to God, this is true. Steven Seagal, for the last 20... Oh. Uh-oh. Thank you, Brian. Oh, no problem. Oh, right. You got a game, though? No, no, we're about to do super fan yeah. trivia. Okay, but you All should right. have check out the visual on it. It's freaking hilarious. I will. All right, thanks, Howard. What's up? It's called Steven Seagal Lawman. Yeah, Steven Seagal Lawman. I, I'm one of the few people who's actually seen this. <laughs> it is just unbelievable. First of all, the, the whole premise of the show is, you know, I've always assumed that Steven Seagal was a bullshit artist, like that he never actually even studied martial arts. Uh, it turns out, I mean, I don't know what to make of this show, but they, they follow him around with a video camera. It turns out for the last 20 years, even while he had a film career, He's been a member of the Louisiana something. Yeah, New, like New Orleans or something. Is like it that. New Orleans? I think Somewhere so. in Louisiana. I think it's some little town. A little. Yeah. It's some little town. shitty town made yeah. him a police officer, <laughs> and evidently he's not just like a police officer. He's almost in charge of all the cops. <laughs> well, they said they originally. I think he was down there shooting a movie. That's right. And they brought him in. To I know teach everything about it. The cops. Special techniques. Yeah, he does some kind of weird Japanese karate. Yeah. Like a, it's not a keto, but it's like a kakaya tata. Right, I don't even know what his is called. Yeah. I think he's the only one who does it. It's for very fat guys who can barely lift their legs. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how he always in the movies does that weird shit with his hands yes, and he's always subduing yes. people and, well, so sure enough, Steven Seagal, who's now probably, I'd say, pushing 300 pounds. Yeah. And with jet black hair, he's dyeing his hair this weird color. He, he actually looks like Captain Jenks, if he became the head of a police department, <laughs> and he's he must be two or three hundred pounds, and he's like a super cop. Not only do these guys worship him, but he even goes out to the firing range and he's teaching guys how to shoot a gun. Uh huh. And Steven Seagal shoots at a target. He puts a bullet through the guy's head, and then he goes, "The real test <laughs> is to take your gun and not aim it, but to push through it. And when you push through it." You should be able to shoot inside the same hole that you just shot. Mm-hmm. There should be no new holes, just one hole. And then he shoots again, and he shoots right. Th- the guy's a sharpshooter. Yeah, but it is on film. I'm just all I'm telling you is, and all the other cops are like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" I forget what they call him, like Chief or something. Chief really knows what he's doing. If Chief could just teach me how to shoot like that. And then sure enough, the other guys don't shoot as good as Steven Seagal. Right. I'd have to see what, see what kind of cutting yeah. is going on well, there. They s- probably stage that. And Steven Seagal now, who's the size of an elephant. <laughs> Still does everything perfectly. Perfectly. He, and now he's teaching self-defense. He goes, one of the things I worry about is getting guns off the street. I'm not worried about handling myself out there. But some of my guys I worry about. <laughs> Are they going to know? And, he, and, he, and, he, and he's all breathy he's, like this? He's sweating and he's out of breath. <laughs> Because he's Steven Seagal's super cop, but meanwhile he's 500 right, pounds. He so he's like, walk. he goes, one of the things I worry about, I try to teach guys how to subdue their opponent. And nine times out of a ten, they're carrying a gun, their opponent, and you got to be able to uh, make them submissive. So within two seconds, he starts doing that weird karate shit right, where like right. he demonstrates with somebody and he goes, here, point a gun at me. And then he goes, <laughs> And, and, he, like, and he gets the gun. He gets the gun, he gets behind me, breaks their arm. <laughs> and they're like, wow, Chief really knows how to handle himself. Oh, my God. So he's got a bunch of yeah, fawning yeah. cops fawning who co- loves, love him. The cops love him. <laughs> then they get in their squad cars, and they go around to primarily black neighborhoods. <laughs> of course. Mm-hmm. And then when, when black people see Steven Seagal, they're like, hey, easy, a They find the, the blackest people with the worst grammar <laughs> they can find. And it's like, is you... Ain't you uh, that Steven Seagal? Holy man. Where is that man? You're a big man. That's right, ma'am. And don't worry. We're just trying to help the good guys and get guns off the street. Where is it? Where are you at? Where, where, I, where are a piece of paper at? I need, a, I need an autograph from Mr. Steven Seagal. Yes. And Steven Seagal always takes the side of black people. <laughs> Never white people, just black people. Really? Yeah. Like this black guy, I don't know where he came from, like another planet, and they suspect him of having a gun and this and that. And he goes, and the guy goes, that ain't my gun. Steven Seagal goes, I believe you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this show. He's very racially fair.
It's, it starts <laughs> December 2nd at 10 p.m. This okay. is the greatest show. Not as great as Llamas. <laughs> it's still not as good as L that. Uh, uh, the Llamas you know, family is... Yeah. I just want to let you know that uh, yesterday I did put in a request for Steven Seagal. Yeah. I got my fingers crossed that, you know, the first day we get back from vacation... He's got to come in. It. It's unfucking believable this guy. And well, then, talk about the rave he's getting as a review over but here. But even what's even better is, so Steven Seagal, according to this show, has like superpowers. He can shoot, like shoot you in the head, and then put another bullet right through the same hole in your head. Well, not a real head, <laughs> but a target. Target head. <laughs> not a real head. Target, target head. And <laughs> he can subdue you, even if you're holding a gun. It makes yeah, no difference yeah. to him. And he can do everything that a cop can do. Except I realize what his kryptonite is. If you're on foot and you run, Steven Seagal <laughs> yeah, ain't going to get you. He cannot. This fucking guy is like a beached whale. Well, it's you know unbelievable. What? When you even say, hold a gun on me, and he, yeah. he's he got to be in close quarters right. to do that stuff. That's okay. I'll get my man. <laughs> and so he has actually been on a police force. <laughs> and then he goes to the guy. And then, he, and then a lot of times he sits there and he lectures the other cops. And he goes, today I'm going to teach you something that could save your life in the field. <laughs> now, look, man. If you're going to get caught up in all that Hollywood movie star bullshit with me, uh, that's just a bunch of crap. We're here to learn. I'm here to teach you. I'm just Steven Seagal. Teach you. Yeah. And he, and he teaches everyone. He is like the greatest cop that ever lived. <laughs> you know, and it's unbelievable. Steven Seagal's driving by in the squad car. And he goes, from my years of Akikado, good training. It's not, like a, yeah, it's not like a keto. It's, it's some other weird right. Japanese fucking thing. My years of... Establishing myself as an Akikado Zen master, I can tell just by the slightest hand movement what someone is up to. So then he's in his squad car. Why did he waste his time? I don't know. He's like he's in like, movie. Well, then he's in the squad car, and all of a sudden, he goes like into bionic man mode, <laughs> and he takes his eyes and he darts around and he goes, "You see that gentleman over there?" He's about to run away because he's got a gun in his pocket. You can tell from his hand movements. <laughs> Let's pull him over. So they go, and they, the sirens run. So, what do we, you know, he should be. He should be here yeah. if he can tell. Of all the cops, all of go, these things. Chief says the guy's holding a gun. <laughs> That's right, boys. Pull him over. He's about to run. So then this guy starts running. Big black guy starts running. Steven Seagal doesn't even lift. He cannot even chase. Everybody else is running around. It's like it's like the Keystone Cops. Right. He can't teach him to run. No. But once they run, then he then he comes on the scene. They've already got him arrested. I don't know how that happened. And, they, and Steven Seagal walks up and he goes, "Everybody, stay calm. Stay calm." Well, it looks like we've taken another gun off the street. <laughs> Holy cow! I know another kryptonite for him. Good taste. Well, anyway. I, I give it a big thumbs up. That all, sounds awesome. All Howard's.